Mr. B, everybody call me Mr. B. My name is Barney Huggins. From a little old bitty town up there called Zach, Louisiana, up in the woods. But anyway, I'm out here with the show today with my, with my pride and joy, my 1957 3100 Chevy pickup. I've been working on this truck for uh, about a year and a half now. It's the first time I've had it out since I you know, started working on it. It took me eight and a half months to find the gentleman, the original owner. He was in California, but now I got it. So it's, uh, it's still under construction, so. That's what I'm doing with it. Trying to get it all together and argue with all these other beautiful cars. I was born in 1951. I couldn't find a 57, a 51. They were kind of hard, the ones that I saw. They were all torn up or whatever. So I said, well, okay, I'll go six years from 51. And I found this 57. And the unique thing about that, it has the big back window. And those are the most sought after trucks in that tri, what they call a tri five. 55, 56, 57. The 57 with the big back window was the most sought after. So I settled for that and, and that's how I got started. And uh, I waited on it for six months. And then the gentleman let me have it. And like I said, I've been working on it for a year and a half. And this is the result. It's still under construction, as you can see on my pictures. But you know, that's, it's all about what I like, what I'm enjoying. And I'm on still, like I tell everybody, I'm only doing what the Lord allows. So that's what that's all about. I left it all stopped, just like it was when it comes from the factory. The only thing that I had to change, and I didn't want to do that, but I had to, was the motor. It had the original motor in, but that one went out on me, went kaput, so I upgraded the motor. But everything else, it's all stopped. I still got to put the floor in. It had the old floor in there, but I wasn't thinking then I should have left it in there. It was all right. But I tore it out. Now I'm going back with the new floor. I guess I have pictures of when it was sitting out in the woods. I didn't put them on my banner, but I, you know. But anyway, I got them from then to now, and I just cleaned it up, and that's how it cleaned up. And I'm gonna leave it just like that. I'm gonna leave it just like it was when Mr. Tennant had it. That's the gentleman's name, Mr. Tennant, and I'm just leaving it for him. He was so excited when I took him, took it for him to see, and I got a German out of that too. So that's history for me. I'm an old historian, graduated from Southern University in 1973, so, but, and I took it up there for him to see it, and he, was, he loved it. And like I said, you see his picture over there. But, hey, I love it, man. And I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the rebuild and everything, so that's what it's all about.
this car here because of the blue and the peanut butter seats. Wish I wanted a white one. I like it like it is. Uh, I'm not in the Corvette club, but I travel with the Corvette. Whatever they got to show at, I'm going to show up just to support them, you know. And I just like having car shows, you know. Uh, this is my third one. 2017, I had a white with red seat. Then uh, I had a 2019 black on black. I kept it four months. This here came around and I went out there with picked it up. I had to adjust myself to the blue. But I wanted black or white, but I got to like it. You know. The ride is different than my C7. It's a better ride. And uh the ability of it is real good. Uh once you get in a vet, you gonna always want a vet. No matter what year you drive. I tried to go into an Audi, TT, drop top. That lasts about eight months. Every time I look down the road, I see the vet come that way, one come that way. I told my wife I had to get another. How to find success, work hard, uh, respect your people, uh, do the right thing in life, keep Christ in your life for one thing. And he gonna, whatever you desire, you want, he's gonna put it in your hand. Tanya Perosier. I am a Navy recruiter. Um, my current position is I am the Outreach and Diversity Manager for Navy Recruiting. What that means is I travel all over the United States finding minorities to give $200,000 scholarships to. These scholarships are really important for our community and unfortunately a lot of times we don't know about them. These scholarships are the most amazing thing that the Navy could have ever offered. We even pay for medical school. So if you know somebody who's looking to go to college and wants to serve, we have a $200,000 scholarship for them with a stipend of $750 for their books and they get a monthly stipend as they attend college. And we have HBCUs, we have 19 HBCUs under this program with 150 other colleges under the NROTC scholarship. If they don't have the SAT scores that we're looking for for our national scholarships, we have a preparatory program. So if you have a daughter, cousin, niece, uncle, whoever, that may be interested in a scholarship, please have them call us and come see us. We have so many that go unclaimed every year because our community does not know about these programs. So I hope that this information gets to you and you know somebody that's interested. If you're interested in these scholarships, you can go to netsy.navy.mil. That's N-E-T-C dot Navy, N-A-V-Y dot M-I-L. And you can apply for these scholarships. Rocky Mumphrey. I'm Vice President of the North Shore Corvette Club, located on the North Shore of Louisiana, um, Lake Pontchartrain. We uh, have our general meetings the third Thursday of every month uh, at various locations. Please check our website at www.
NorthShoreCorvetteClub.com for further details. The car behind me is a 2017 Corvette 2LT Z51. The color is Admiral Blue. I've had it for about four and a half years now and thoroughly enjoy it. Our club normally has monthly cruise-ins where we'll cruise down two-lane highways for an hour or two before we go to lunch and then go back to our respective cities. I'm sitting here today at the River Chase Shopping Center and today we are having a benefit for uh, Kingston. Kingston uh, Terry is um, a, uh, the son of Mike Terry, the service manager at Ross Downing Chevrolet, who is one of our main sponsors of it. We're having this benefit for his health care cost uh, to help him through some challenges that he currently has. Our first Corvette was a 2005 red convertible. Uh, we enjoyed it very much and had it for a couple of years before we upgraded to the car that we currently have, the 2017 uh, LT2 Corvette. I would like to also address uh, um, the point that we're having our 20th anniversary, 12th annual All Corvette Car Show at Hollywood Casino on November 11th, 2023. November 11th is Veterans Day and our charity for 2023 is a local veterans group located in Covington, Louisiana that helps veterans readjust after coming back from combat. This show that we'll have on November the 11th will be special because it will be at the Hollywood Casino, which is a very special place to have a car show. They are giving us their very best parking lot. We will have a Friday night meet and greet for all people that are pre-registered to our show, which will include food and a cash bar. Our car show on Saturday, November the 11th, will also include a silent auction. We use the monies from our silent auctions to go directly to our charities. Every penny that's raised for our silent auction goes to our Veterans Charity of 2023. As a member of the North Shore Corvette Club, it has tremendously helped me expand my knowledge of Corvettes in general. And the people that you meet that are in the Corvette community are just generally nice people that want to get together, that have a passion for the Corvette, that enjoys getting together, sharing their experiences, and um, enjoying their cars on drives. We, driving our cars are, is the most important part of having a Corvette. You really can't enjoy a Corvette unless you actually drive it.